Hello guys, welcome back. This is Manoj. In today's video, we will create this registration form. So this is our next video content. So from this page, we will create a new user and we will hit our API with these fields like username, email, phone and password. So when we hit this form through this react application, so it will land here in our web API project. In web API project, I have already created some functions like this. So it will receive the request from react and it will process it and store in the database. So if you know this .NET API, then it is good. If you don't know, then no need to worry because being a react developer, you will be provided all the APIs. All right. So let me show you the database also so this is our database and this is our registration table so in the registration we have some fields like username password email phone is active created it so right now let me show you the table registration so it is blank so we'll add users from our react page from this registration only so let's start it go back to visual studio code so we will use this register.js file so let's import the use state hook first and inside this function let's create some object like input set input and initial state is blank like username blank email is blank password is blank and phone also blank I'm going to destructure all the properties because we have to set these properties on our input fields so phone email password and phone input let's call inputs because there are multiple inputs all right now this is our form and these are our inputs let me change the name first username let's put the id as username as well now the value should be username and we'll use a click event handler which is on change curly braces handle change for email the name would be email id also email and value email we'll use the on change for this also so handle change this is for phone let's change the id phone as well for value we are using phone property and on change handle change and for last password let's change the id password as well and value should be password and on change handle change perfect for this form let's change the on submit 
this on submit let's give a name click handler which is handler submit perfect save this now let's declare the handle change first this would be a arrow function so we'll use the name and value pair means whenever this handle change event gets fired by changing any state of our input fields so we'll get the field by name and getting value by e dot target so in this e dot target we are getting name and value both after getting name and value let's call the set input function take inputs and it will set our state by using a spread operator inputs and by name it will set our value perfect save this so we are done with our handle change now we need to create this handle submit okay let's declare it const handle submit this will also be a arrow function first of all let's declare e dot event default Prevent all other events. Now, let's just console all the properties. Username, inputs dot username, email, inputs dot email, password, inputs dot. Last one is phone input dot phone. Okay. Let's save this. Go back to browser. Let's refresh this page. Let me give some name. Undefined is not a function. it again perfect mark gmail dot com one two three four one two three four click on sign up open the developer tools so in the console we have an object inside object we have our properties and the respective values perfect so we are getting our values from our input fields perfect go back to visual studio code now let me comment this we will use fetch api to post our data so first create the request const request First method will be post 
and then we'll declare our headers the first one is content type and this would be application slash json second one i'll declare access control allow origin to make sure it will work origin start you can pass it here like get post put delete but i'm placing star final is accept application slash json so this is our headers now i am putting mood as course so it will not give us any error like course finally the body json dot stringify inside let me copy these values let me uncomment all these values perfect so our request is ready now we'll use our fetch api fetch let's copy the api endpoint let me run this then API and then let me copy this sign up values is the controller name so values and then method name sign up perfect second parameter would be our request object so let me pass request now it's a promise based api if our post call gets success then we'll get a response first let's console this response console dot log response dot json So we are ready with our react part. So let's save this. Now go, let me go to API and place a breakpoint here so that we can see whatever is coming from react we can see it here. So go back to browser. Let me hit this. Okay. Our API is getting the data. Perfect. You can see we are getting username, email, password, phone. Perfect. So let's deserialize it. I'm debugging it. So you know, no need to worry. Just to check whatever is happening. Perfect. We are getting one means our data is saved. Let's go to database. Let's run this command again. Perfect. You can see this form data mark mark at gmail one two three. This is in our table now. So our application is working as expected. Perfect. Now go back to Visual Studio Code. Let me also show you the response. Let's open the developer tools. In the console, we have a promise. Perfect. In result, you can see user created with mark. Perfect. 
so let's show this result in a alert box user response and set user response okay now when we are getting this response let me remove this and call set user response so now it will assign all the response in this object after this let's check if user response then alert user response save this Again, let me create a new object. Gmail.com one two three one two three. You can sign up. So you can see, user created with Tim. Perfect. So you can see, our application is working as we expected. So let me recap. We are using use state hook for that. First, we created an object by declaring all the properties as blank at the initial stage. Then we destructured all the properties for respective input fields. Then we declared a event handler handle change, which is doing the task of putting all the values to respective properties for respective fields. Then we had use handle submit for a form submit and we are passing our request to this API and getting response and showing this response in the alert box. So this is a very simple example. So that's it for the day. I hope you liked the video. If you did so, Click the like button, share, comment. If you have any doubt, you can comment or you can directly reach to me through my Instagram handle. My Instagram handle is Open Programmer. You can you can also find it in my YouTube channel description. So I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for the watching. Take care. Bye bye.